Okay, I'm back. This is Ken Albertson. I'm uh, broadcasting from the southernmost part of the United States, the southern part of the Big Island at Hawaii, in the Puno region. So, I want to, uh, just for fun, just address this to any right-wingers out there, young folks who are thinking of running for office in the Republican Party, if the Republican Party even exists anymore. Frankly, I think it might just get uh, cleaved in half, so it'll be half as influential, half as powerful. You'll have the, the regular pro-business, uh, you know, bowing down to Wall Street Republicans, and then you'll have the the white supremacists, that'll be the other half, um, who are the type that stormed the Capitol and uh, try to destroy a democracy and everything else. So my advice to a young young men and women who want to uh, get voted into office in the Republican Party, there's two main issues, okay? Two main issues for uh, Republicans, the voters, and, and by definition, the, the candidates. That's abortion and gun rights. Those are the most important. If you look closely, they're even more important than family, patriotism, uh, religion, all this other. All those others, they'll say are important, but they all take a back seat to abortion rights and gun ownership. Okay? So if you can be the most extreme in favor of guns, everybody having, you know, as many guns as they want, military weapons, maybe even grenade launchers, I don't know. The, 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 some of them would probably like that. Or, uh, and and then abortion. I won't talk much about abortion um, right now, but the gun issue is uh, is a pretty sad state of affairs in the United States. And that's actually, that relates to the riots that happened uh, at the Capitol uh, two weeks ago from the time I'm uh, doing this little broadcast. Uh, the, the, the people that Trump Sr., Trump Jr., Rudy Giuliani incited to go and attack the, the Capitol. Of course, those three insiders, uh, they scooted away in their bulletproof limousines to watch it on TV. Uh, they weren't anywhere near the fracas because they're all cowards completely. They don't even lead from behind. They're just complete cowards. Okay. But one thing the right-wingers are starting to get spooked about now, because a lot of them are getting uh, indicted, uh, hauled into, or they're going to get hauled into court by FBI and other uh, security forces, they start to realize, oh, my God, if I get convicted, they're going to take my guns away. See? So that's one of the two major things that they're most spooked about. Another thing about being a, uh, a right-wing uh, especially if you want to be a candidate. Um, of course, well, one side note, you're going to get a lot of donations, okay? There's a, not from a lot of people, but a few people will give you a lot of money, okay? So that, you might think, well, that's great, okay? Yeah, everybody loves money. So you take that money, and what you do is, uh, besides harping on, uh, you know, more guns for everybody, and uh, uh, abortion, uh, no, no abortion for any reason. Okay, those two issues. Um, uh, my mind's almost going blank here. Oh, you gotta, you gotta attack your opponents. Okay, doesn't matter who it is. You gotta attack them mercilessly. Okay, like Trump attacked uh, Hillary in 2016, as if she was the worst person that ever uh, graced the earth. I mean, just. Wicked, wicked, wicked. And then uh, he did the same sort of thing towards Biden. Kept saying he's the worst person in the world and I could never lose to him, uh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, uh, all the bullshit that, that's come out of that. So that that's another thing you got to do if you want to be a right-wing candidate. You got to mercilessly attack your uh, political opponent, whoever you're running against. I mean, just, just wicked, man. You got to go at it every ugly thing you can dig up so it doesn't matter who it is you're just going to attack 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 like a like a pit bull you know he just he grabs onto somebody's leg and he just he won't let go 
And that's what you got to do. And you probably get elected because there's still a lot of rednecks, white supremacists in this in the United States who will vote for whomever they think is the the most in favor of abortion rights and the most against guns. I mean, in favor of guns, excuse me, the most in favor of guns. Okay, so that's it for now. Oh, just a little side note. You know, I get I get hate mail uh, like a lot of liberals do. And one guy wrote to me. Of course, he didn't didn't use his real name. No, none of these people use their real name. They're all they're all cowards. But he says I'm going to be the next Kyle Rittenhouse. You know. So here's a here's a young guy who wants to kill liberals. Okay, that's that's his goal in life. All right. Those are the kind of people that are going to vote for right wingers, and it's going to be a problem for the United States for a long time. You know, it's going to go on for decades. I'm sorry to say. Okay, I'm going to sign off. Goodbye.